In this video, we're going to be taking a look at using Revoice Pro 5 to solve a lot of the common problems that we come across when working with modern vocals. So we'll be taking a look at tuning, time alignment, manual de-essing, level changes, and how we can use some of the unique new features added in Revoice Pro to solve common problems. Let's dive in. Now, before we get started, I'm going to play you a quick before and after of the final results of tuning this verse. Maybe we can run and hide, get a little drunk on one so I have the guts to speak this out loud, loud. Maybe just to share my feelings, maybe it's part of me healing. Or maybe I'm in need of a shoulder that knows who I am, not the arms of a stranger. Maybe we can run and hide, get a little drunk on one so I have the guts to speak this out loud, loud. Maybe just to share my feelings Maybe it's part of me healing Or maybe I'm in need of a shoulder That knows who I am, not the arms of a stranger So let's highlight all of these vocals and we'll drag and drop an instance of Revoice Pro link onto the audio events. Going to capture audio and let's show Revoice Pro. So the first area that we need to tackle is the verse. I'm gonna zoom in and let's have a quick listen to this lead vocal. Maybe we could run and hide Get a little drunk on white so And then we have a male lead vocal which is doubling that section in a unison. Maybe we can run and hide. Get a little drunk on white so We obviously want to make sure that our male lead vocal has the same tuning and timing as the female lead vocal. Now let's navigate over to these other two tracks over here and have a quick listen to what they're doing. Maybe we can run and hide. Get a little drunk on white so Okay, so these lead vocals, we can hear that they're doing an octave unison above the main lead vocal. But in this section over here, they're actually doing a harmony. If we listen to them against the lead. So we're going to make use of a new feature that was added in Revoice Pro 5, which is Smart Pitch, which is a unique way that allows a match process in Revoice Pro 5 to follow the timing and pitch of a guide track, but also to ignore certain parts that aren't relevant. So we'll explore this in a moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is let's tune this main lead vocal. I'm going to right click and adjust pitch timing and level. And also let's go full screen. As a starting point, I'm going to select everything, right click, pull up the center notes tool, and let's just dial up a correction amount. And I'm just going to put this to 100 and let's have a really, really quick listen. Maybe we could run and hide, get a little drunk on way, so I have the guts to speak. Let's fix this issue. In order to fix this, I'm going to move over to the selector tool and let's manually adjust this. Maybe I'll put a little splice in it right over here. I have the guts to speak this out loud, loud. Maybe just to share my feelings. Maybe it's part of me healing. Or maybe I'm in need of a shoulder that knows who I am, not the arms of a stranger. So when I can keep my head up, telling me I'm more than need of. So when I can make me for something when I'm feeling nothing. Some of the unique new features that we have in Revoice Pro is the ability to work with tools such as the Shaper tool. When we work with the Shaper tool, instead of just manually slicing this up into different sections, we actually have the ability to add control points to the pitch trace, and then we have the ability to actually redraw the pitch trace. Not feeling nothing at all. So before I go here, I'm going to click the L key, which allows me to hop into the level section. We can make adjustments to the amplitude of these individually sung notes or any sibilance, consonants, or breaths that we might need to adjust. Maybe we could run and hide, get a little drunk on way, so. This S over here, I think will take care of us. I'm going to highlight, hold Alt or Option, and I can snap this down in 3 dB increments. Why so? Now, before we leave the level view, I also want to make some level changes to some of these phrases that I feel like are a little bit loud. They need to come down at least 1 to 3 dB. So I'm going to highlight all of these over here, and let's just bring them down a couple dB. Let's move along to this section over here and do the same thing. And the next thing I want to do is I want to create a process that allows me to match the pitch, timing, and level from this main lead vocal track onto these other ones. So I'm going to click the B key, call up the new process panel. Let's go with match, timing, pitch, or level, selected audio. In terms of presets, I'm going to navigate to factory presets and let's choose tight timing plus pitch and we are going to match unison and we're going to tune harmony because keep in mind we need to come up with a preset that works for everything 
I want to create a process group so that I just have one set of parameters for this. So we already have our lead vox to female added as the guide track and our lead vox to male added as the dub track. I'm going to take these two harmony tracks and I'm going to add them to the dub tracks as well. And then we have new process group selected. Let's create new process. When we create this process group, it gives us one set of parameters. And as we tweak these parameters, it will adjust everything. So let's have a listen to the original tracks. Maybe we can run and hide, get a little drunk on one soul. I have the guts to speak this out loud. And now we can easily solo the process group just by clicking the play button from within the right side here. Maybe we can run and hide, get a little drunk on one soul. I have the guts to speak this out loud. loud. Okay, so a couple things I want to take a look at. I'm going to open up the process panel just by clicking this little icon over here. This allows us to adjust the parameters for this track. I'm gonna slide this over to the left so we can see some of these changes in real time. I like what's happening here with this preset, but I think I'm going to back off the timing a little bit, maybe somewhere around here. And in terms of pitch, I think I'll do the same. Just back off things a little bit. Now, one last thing that I wanna take a look at is the level adjustments. I'm going to engage the level and you can see that as I change this, the dub track is more closely following the guide track. So what I'm going to do is let's just back off this a little bit. And another thing is I want to keep the dub's average level. Let's have one more quick listen and then we'll render that in our DAW's timeline. Maybe we can run and hide, get a little drunk on one soul. I have the guts to speak this out loud. And the end section. Someone that can make me feel something when I'm feeling nothing at all. And just as a reminder of where we started. Someone that can make me feel something when I'm feeling nothing at all. So now because we're working in an ARA based DAW, we can immediately hop back into our DAW's timeline and listen to everything in context. Maybe we can run and hide, get a little drunk on one soul. I have the guts to speak this out loud, loud. Maybe just to share my feelings, maybe it's part of me healing. Or maybe I'm in need of a shoulder that knows who I am, not the arms of a stranger. Someone that can keep my head up Telling me I'm more than enough Someone that can make me feel something When I'm feeling nothing Let's render that processing we did in Revoice Pro 5 into the actual audio events. Notice those level changes where I brought things down. I think that'll do nicely. So now that we have our verse done, let's move over to the chorus. So for this, I'm gonna highlight all of these events, drag and drop Revoice Pro link, let's capture audio, and let's show Revoice Pro. So for this chorus section, I'd like to tackle this a slightly different way. First, let's have a quick listen to the before. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You, again. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna solo the lead vocal. Let's go full screen. We'll right click and we will adjust pitch timing level. For this, I'm gonna use Option or Alt plus W. This is a really quick way that allows us to tune to 100%. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Guess I need somebody, body. Let's fix any issues that we find along the way. Somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Once I have my main lead vocal tuned, I'm going to create a match process. And let's match the timing and the pitch of this lead vocal to our dub track. So for this, let's navigate to a factory preset and we will choose tight timing plus pitch match all notes. With both of these tracks selected, let's create this process. Our original. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You, again. And our newly created output. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. So I'm pretty happy with those results. The last thing I want to take a look at is adding any additional harmonies. Regardless of whether they're male or female, using the new Smart Pitch mode, what used to be a long, tedious process of tuning and time aligning guide tracks and then creating new match processes can now be done in one step. All the vocals will be time aligned, and in cases where pitch isn't relevant, such as harmonies, the guide track's tuning is ignored, but the vocal still gets tuned to 100% based on the nearest semitone. 
Now the very last thing I'd like to do is I'm hearing a stereo double of this lead vocal track happening across the whole way, but we don't actually have one that was recorded. So for this, we are going to create a doubler process, which we can layer in under the whole arrangement. Once we have this created, we'll simply drag and drop this into our DAW's timeline, and then we'll make sure that we use any tools that are available that allow us to spot to origin or move to the original recorded position. Once we're done, we can listen to our final production in context. For more information on Revoice Pro 5, or to get more in-depth tutorials on these features and more, be sure to head over to our website. Thanks for watching.